Lisa Briggs from the Bruce Company is answering your plan and garden questions. The number to call 608-270-9933. And they're not... Happy almost spring. It's not pierogi. It's not pierogi. It's pierogi. It's like the people who say mascarpone instead of mascarpone. I don't know. It's a thing. You're, you're Polish. I am Polish. On both sides. So, there, yeah, there double Polish. So say it right, Howard. <laughs> Purple hydrangea. Yes. Yeah, so this is what we call a florist hydrangea. So you'll see a lot of these at this time of year for Valentine's Day, for Easter, for Mother's Day. Really beautiful, but meant to be a house plant. The flower buds are not hardy outside. Oh, really? So this kind of hydrangea cannot be planted outside and get anything other than maybe some green growth. It will not flower for you reliably. Will it reflower inside? Probably not. You'd okay. have to have the right kind of conditions, and hardly anybody does. So one and done. One and done. It's really pretty. Enjoy it, and then you're done. All right. Let's go to the phones. We'll start with Tom from Middleton. Hi, Tom. What's your question? Hey, Lisa. I've got some milkweed butter. Um, oh, hold on. Tom, butterfly. Just, hold on a second. She's not plugged in. No, I was plugged in, but I wasn't, wasn't hearing anything. Okay, try There now. we go. I just turned it way, way up. Sorry, Tom. Go, go for it. Okay, I've got some butterfly milkweed that I'd like to transplant in my yard, mm -hmm. and I'm wondering when I can do it. So butterfly milk, the, if you're talking about, um, well, all the Asclepias family, they are really slow to emerge in the spring. So as soon as you see it come up, then you can transplant it. Likes a sunny spot, but you're not going to see it unless you've marked where you have it. You probably never, won't see I, it till end of May, early June sometimes. It won't be coming up yet. Okay, I never cut it down last year. So oh, it's okay. all, it's so you know like where it is. two feet tall. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Cut it back and go ahead and move it as soon as you can dig in the ground and the most of the moisture is out of the ground from the snow melt. Okay. All right. Thanks. Good luck. Yeah. All right. Thank you. It's nice to grow those two for the monarchs. They do. The monarchs do love it. All right. This next caller didn't want to be on the air, but asked when are we going to, when are we going to repot inside plants? When you can we? do your repotting now. You can start repotting usually around the middle part of February and we're past that, so go for it. Just remember that say if you're in a six inch pot, that you can go to an eight inch pot. You don't want to go really hugely bigger than the existing pot. All right. Marcia now in Mineral Point. Hi, hi Marcia. What's your question? Um, I planted a boomerang uh, lilac tree mm -hmm. last fall and it it leaf but it never flowered so i was wondering should i fertilize it this spring and if so what should i fertilize it with so bloomerang lilacs um have they're supposed to be an ever blooming lilac what they have is a big flush of flowers at the end of may and then sporadic flowering after that it sounds like it might be a pruning <laughs> issue you want to clean it up right after that first flush of flowers so usually around mid mid-June. If you prune it much past that, you won't get flowers. Lilacs don't like fertilizer. The most beautiful ones you see are on the roadsides. Yeah. Uh, fertilizer tends to spur a lot of green growth so and not much flower production. So I'd leave it alone, make sure it's in plenty of sun, and let it flower this year. And then if you need to prune it, prune it right after it's done flowering. All right, let's go to Ann in Merrimack. Hi, Ann. What's your question? Hi, I have uh, several different hydrangeas, and I was just wondering, do you cut them back? I know I'm looking at them. I never did cut them back, but they have little little bubs on them already. So I'm just wondering, you know, what can we do? So if you have the PG hydrangeas, which are those long cone-shaped flowers, you can cut them back now. Uh, there'll be the flower, and then there'll be a pair of buds like this. Cut it right above a pair of buds and shape it. If you have the lower-growing ones that look like these mop heads that we brought in, then you're going to want to wait until those start to bud out on the stems. So you see leaves start to develop, and then you can cut back to those leaves. I wouldn't do that quite yet, though. Yeah. All right. We're out of time. If you're on the line, stay there. At least we'll talk to you off the air. See you next week. Yeah. All right. Enjoy spring. You too.